Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to do the cute filter you have seen on TikTok of the zebra and the fish. And I'm doing things a little differently today and teaching you how to sketch it out before you start your painting. Pro tip, if you grab your eyeliner, it sometimes is a lot easier than using a paintbrush. And I'm just following the outline of what I drew on the surface in front of me, but you can just print out a picture and follow along with that if you need as well. So as you know from my other videos, it's going to depend on the shape of your face with where you're going to place everything. So you can go as big or as small as you want. I wanted to try and recreate the filter itself to scale as much as possible. So that is what I'm going for here. And I'm just getting a rough outline. Everything's going to be painted over in just a second here, so it doesn't matter if there's any mistakes. And what did Bob Ross say? There's no such thing as mistakes. They're happy accidents. So we're just going to go along with that for now. And just figuring out where I want to put his eyes as well. And yeah, I'm just getting some of the stripes in just for fun. Remember, all this can be painted over later if needed. So, moving on to the fish. As you can see, I'm trying to keep the fish small. And I'm following along with my drawing as well. It's okay to have any errors at this point. And I'm just getting a rough outline of the fish and his cute little eye. And this is where I'm going to put his red lipstick later. So I'm just getting a rough outline. So there you go. Now that the outline is done, you can go ahead and start filling in some of your paint. Now I am using a face paint. Um, it is a little bit more forgiving, but it's more difficult to layer on top of each other like the acrylics. So better for your skin, but you will have some transparency there um, if you try and paint over it while it's still wet. So keep that in mind. And I was going to section it off, but I'm just painting all of it orange. So, And as I come over here to the zebra, I was at first trying to be more careful, and then I realized it doesn't really matter because I'm going to just add in black later. And black always goes over white a lot better than any other color. So you're watching me fill it in right here. And if you mess up, you can wipe it away with a wet wipe or a wet paper towel. Anything like that will work. Now I'm filling in its mane here with black, but I'm mixing a little bit of white, as you can see, to make it more of a gray. Um, as I looked at the filter, it wasn't a dark black mane or muzzle, so I wanted to go with a more gray. And this type of paint dries a little darker than when it's wet, so... You can kind of see it dry as we go and see that difference there. And then I just went for an in-between color as well. It's not quite dark, dark black, but it's a dark, dark gray. And I just feel like this will make the character be as close as the character is on TikTok as well. I wanted to save the black outlining for the very end when I outline everything. And now that the fish is dry, I am just taking some yellow and some white, and I'm just giving him a little more detail to make him pop, as you can see there. And I wanted to bring some of that detail back over there to the zebra's mane. It's looking good so far. If you're having any trouble with your face paints, feel free to comment down below and I'm sure I could try and help you out in some small way. Okay, so this is my favorite part. I'm using the acrylics now because acrylic just pops a lot more. It's a lot more dense. So I'm taking the black outline and I'm just going over some of those lines that I did before and just making them more crisp. And if your paint isn't dry, you will know it won't 
let you paint completely black. It'll kind of go gray. So just let that dry and then come back and revisit it later. Now I'm going back over the eyes and the muzzle and just giving him more detail there. Keeping in mind all the details that I'm following from my reference picture. And if you want to make it your own, you can too. I was just trying to do a replica for you guys. And if you ever need to wait for paint to dry, you can always start filling in a background just to make it pop a little bit more. But I obviously did not do that on this painting today. This is my favorite part, just going around the lips and the details, those small fine details, making sure it's dry. Now I'm carrying the, the dark black acrylic paint over to the fish and just filling in those details again. And if you mess up, just paint over it. That's the key. Giving him some more facial features again. And just giving him some detail. Okay, we're starting to look like we're almost done here. So now I'm going to the eye on the zebra and I'm gonna move over to the eye on the fish with white acrylic paint. And I'm fixing any errors I have or anywhere that kind of bleeds through the face paint since it's a little bit more porous. And then this white just really makes the cartoon pop. And that's what I like to see when I'm, I'm painting on my face. And now the final touches. We're gonna give our fish some little lips, some fish lips. And in the filter on TikTok, if you look closely, he's got red lips. So we're just putting that in there right now, making sure everything is where you want it. And then coming back to my zebra where I fixed a few mistakes, now that it's dry, I'm just really focusing on going back over that. And I kind of rest my hand on my chin when I paint, and so it messes it up a little bit, and that's where I'm going in to fill it in from where my hand wiped it away. And we are done! So we have our little zebra and our little fish. And that's how you paint the TikTok filter. And there you go. I just wanted to say thank you <laughs> for all your support. And I hope that you had fun learning how to paint the zebra and the fish.